Hello everyone. Today once again I am here to explain little more about Linux deploy. Actually you can say that this is a full demo of Linux deploy. So today we will fix all the errors and learn how to use Kali Linux as a root user and how to use a SSH as a root and as an administrative user. I am using the offline method to install Kali Linux. It can help in eliminating some errors. So let's start it. First of all, we need to download Kali Linux image file. I am downloading from PC. You can download either from mobile phone also. Simply go to your browser and search Kali Linux image file for Android. And open the first link. Now these are all the images of Kali Linux. You can download directly or as a torrent file also. I am currently downloading this file. So if you want to download this file, make sure you have a ARM7 or above architecture of your Android to check that. Go to your deploy and check your status of your Android. Now you can see here architecture of my Android is ARM7. If your architecture is 6 or below 6, so you have to download light version of 700 MB. So this is the image that I have already downloaded. Now extract it. After extracting this folder, let me show you the property of this folder. This folder is about 5.5 GB. Now, I am copying this folder to my internal memory of Android. So this is the folder now in internal memory and these are the files of Kali Linux. Now let's move to Android. These are the apps which we need to install in our Android phone. Juice SSH, BusyBox, VNC or Terminal Emulator and Linux Deploy. But before I start, I want to show you a uh, error in deploy and how to fix that error when I launch terminal from deploy it show me this error watch it again so how to fix that error you need to uninstall both the app terminal emulator as well as Linux deploy and then you have to install first terminal emulator and then Linux deploy. After doing this, you can see that terminal is now working through Linux deploy without any error. Now you already know that which apps you need to install but keep in mind that first you need to install terminal emulator and then linux deploy and then all other apps all apps links are given in the description you can download from there now let's do some settings in linux deploy first of all go to distribution and select kali linux 
then go to password select tour t double o r then enable ssh server and graphical environment you can further go in gui setting and change the display property now let me show you that this is the installation path from where linux will be started for that we have to go in files and then internal memory so this is the image file after that you have to move this image file to internal memory without any folder and then we have to rename it linux after that close it now in deploy everything is okay now come to busybox Install the BusyBox and always keep in mind where the BusyBox is installed. Now open the Linux deploy and let's mount the container. Uh oh, we're getting an error. Before you start, keep in mind that Wi Fi and data is off. Now let's try configure, but it is still giving an error. Now let's do some another setting. we have to add here the address of busybox where it is installed then update environment after that now let's start it again now it is working but we are still getting an error in front of VNC you can see that it is showing fail this is the main cause by which VNC viewer not works so let me show you how to fix that if you get an, this error first of all stop the container and click configure Now let's start container again. Now you can see it is fixed. Now it is showing done. Let me show you one more thing in terminal that if you want to use terminal and if it is giving you an error 
can't connect to remote host so what you have to do go to setting and enable telnet daemon now you can see there is no error now now let's move to vnc viewer click on create a new connection add your local address that is 127001 and name android enter the password twr now you can see it is working perfectly i am working as a administrative user currently this is the first part of video to watch more go to second part i have created the second part to change the view of video from landscape to portrait view so that mobile users can view that video in youtube easily the link of second part is given below